All right, so before we get to our next use case, I just want to mention one quick thing about how we're helping each other in the OpenStack community. And in the particular uh, case of big data, one of the things we've just launched this week is an update to the OpenStack Project Navigator. Uh, this is the URL. You can also find it just by going to openstack.org. This is a place in the website where you can learn a lot about different projects. But what we've really added just uh, this week are some uh, reference architectures. And the, one of the first ones we have online is for big data. And so this is a big part of how we accelerate adoption of OpenStack is go beyond the code to actually the details of how people that are successful with OpenStack under different use cases are actually doing it and looking at the bigger picture. So go ahead and, and check that out. Um, and you can learn about some of those reference architectures. Also, of course, it's open source, so contribute to this. If you have a reference architecture you want to share, we've got a place to do that now on our website. And so, next up, to talk about the media industry and their use case, I'm really excited to introduce from Sky UK, Matt Smith. Hi, um, I'm Matt Smith. I work at Sky UK. And um, over the past couple of years, I've had the great pleasure to um, uh, part of my job running the team, um, doing the architecture, design, implementation, support, and growth of the OpenStack platform at Sky. Um, my uh, presentation today is why Sky runs on OpenStack. So we. Um, uh, I'm going to run through a few things, give you a bit of background and context about what Sky does, and multiple business units, and, and a diverse uh, uh, architecture we have within Sky. And then go on to uh, why, we, why we needed cloud, and why we chose OpenStack. Um, moving on to sort of a, a, a brief overview of what we deployed in our data centers. And then go through some use cases of the applications running on our cloud. And then finishing off with uh, what we hope to do with OpenStack in the future. So Sky is um, Europe's leading entertainment company, about 30,000 employees across the UK, Germany, and Italy. Um, we have something like 22 million subscribers. And uh, we're primarily a satellite television company. And in the UK, we, we deliver something over 600 TV channels direct to our customers' homes. I say, we've got lots of different um, uh, products and businesses. Uh, we're also a telco, an internet service provider. So we have a product called Sky Talk, which is landline telephony for our customers. We have Sky Broadband, which delivers um, DSL and fiber broadband to our customers' homes. Um, we have online TV products. So we have two of those, one called Sky Go, um, another one called Now TV. So Sky Go is free to Sky subscribers. And Now TV is a uh, contract-free, dip-in, dip-out um, online TV service. And both of these do video on demand and uh, live TV. So video on demand, things like uh, the latest films and TV programs, uh, box sets like Game of Thrones, Walking Dead. And um, uh, uh, from live TV, we have things like Premiership Football and uh, Formula One broadcast over the internet. Um, some of the products we have, so we have uh, 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 public Wi-Fi. So Sky Wi-Fi is uh, delivered free for Sky subscribers. And that's uh, free Wi-Fi for the internet in pubs, shops, restaurants, cafes. Um, and we have a, a, a product called Sky Store, which you can um, either buy and keep DVDs or rent them. And you can keep your DVD library in Sky's data centers and then watch it on your iPad, iPhone, PC, etc. So why cloud, why OpenStack? So Sky, Sky's products are driven by technology. We have lots of applications, lots of developer teams, and all these applications need somewhere to run. And instead of having lots of uh, cloud islands of different infrastructure, we decided that we'd need a, a sort of software-defined data center to deliver our applications on, um, including things like software-defined networking, software-defined storage. So we have a, a sort of a, 
a, a one-stop shop for delivering our infrastructure for our teams. And then that spans all the businesses, so it isn't just for one use case, it's for all part, types, parts of the business in Sky. And we're looking for flexibility, something that was uh, highly scalable, and I think you'll hear later from the scientific chaps that they've got these, these massive, massive OpenStack installations, as is sort of quite small in comparison. And uh, speed of delivery for applications so the end users can deploy their, their heat templates, their networks, and uh, sort of self-serve um, on a, a, a single platform. And uh, uh, one of the primary drivers was cost, so um, total cost of ownership for the platform had to be, uh, it had to be private cloud, uh, public cloud operators and also sort of enterprise uh, vendor solutions. And uh, the only solution we found um, was OpenStack that fit all this, and it sort of it has over the past couple of years delivered a, a really good job for us. Um, what we've deployed in Sky is um, we've got many data centers. Uh, we've uh, uh, deployed OpenStack in two of our main data centers that give both sort of corporate and internet presence. Um, four availability zones, so uh, applications can be deployed across many availability zones, and when we do updates or um, uh, upgrades, we, we can sort of mitigate by uh, spreading our applications across uh, many data centers and availability zones. There's something like uh, or over 80 projects or OpenStack tenants on the platform using it for development stage and production apps. Um, every day there's sort of 400 plus users on the platform uh, creating networks, routers, um, uh, subnets, ports, instances, volumes, and connect it all together with heat. Um, and from a data center uh, footprint perspective, we've got something like 7,000 cores and 400 terabytes of Ceph storage that's presented up through Cinder. And some of the applications that are hosted on the platform. So this is SkyQ, uh, Sky's latest set-top box. And uh, from our OpenStack platform, we, we can push out software updates. And we also receive user journey information back into our OpenStack platform. So all the SkyQ boxes report back what the users, how the users interacted with the platform, and we analyze this data, um, refine the sof software, and push new software out. And it's sort of made the um, uh, delivery of and receipt of, of all this information uh, a bit of a seamless process and a sort of self-service for the developer teams running the SkyQ boxes. Um, from a public access perspective, so uh, Sky uh, branched out into um, selling uh, concert, music concert tickets, music festival tickets, and uh, sporting events tickets on a site called Sky Tickets, and this is open to the public. You can go on, purchase some tickets for your favorite band. Um, and this is uh, an inter-business application, so it's a video-on-demand portal that we transfer video assets between Sky UK, Sky Germany, Sky Italia, and uh, also between Sky and external studios like Sony Pictures and uh, Paramount. The uh, video assets are brought in uh, through this portal and, and processed through our broadcasting facilities. And it's a very high profile application. So this is called a CEO dashboard. And this collates information from across Sky's business. So there's, you can see there's an OTT online, how many people are watching uh, sort of premiership football, um, how many people are calling our, our call centers, how many people uh, are p purchasing things through our, our, our online shop, um, how many people are purchasing through Sky Store. And it's a, a full uh, single pane of glass dashboard uh, for the CEO and his executive team, how they gauge how the business is doing. So this is uh, hosted on our OpenStack platform. It's very high profile. Um, uh, really good use case of um, using OpenStack to, for, to do something really important. Um, some of the things we host, um, so our enterprise monitoring, we collect all our data back into our um, OpenStack platform from uh, servers, operating systems, databases, applications, etc. cetera. Um, video streaming analysis is um, where we, uh, for SkyGo and Sky, uh, or now TV, we, um, uh, every streaming event that happens between where it leaves our broadcasting through uh, CDNs and to eventually to the end user's iPad, iPhone. All these streaming events are collated into a, a data warehouse on OpenStack. And at the moment, something like 5 billion streaming events 
hosted there, and that grows by about 10, 10 million streaming events a day. Lots of other applications, so uh, developer tools, continuous integration, Confluence, Jira, uh, there's a 10,000 user installation on our OpenStack platform, and, and loads, loads more. So it's, it's sort of spread across all types of business within Sky. For the future, um, we did a, we, we first installed, when we installed OpenStack, we went with IceHouse. We did a, an upgrade to Kilo earlier in the year. We've currently uh, upgraded our development environment from Kilo through Liberty to Mitaka, and we'll be rolling that out into production very soon. Um, we do lots of video transcoding in Sky. So uh, when you get the video asset from uh, the film company or, or from the studios, it's in one format, and we have to transcode that into formats for iPhone, iPod, iPad, Xbox, PlayStation, PC. And uh, we see that uh, for doing video transcoding on OpenStack is a really good use case that we can scale out to do lots of video transcoding, use the platform for something else, scale down. It's a, it's a really good use case. We, we've been trialing it. It's working very well. Uh, more use, more applications. And from an uh, OpenStack project perspective, uh, we're looking ironic. It's good to hear in Newton, we've got multi-tenant networking in Ironic. It's, a, it's, it's something that sort of held it back a bit. Um, Magnum for container management, like the demo, and Sahara for doing big data. And I'd just I'd like to say thank you for a few people. So OpenStack Foundation, uh, NASA and Rackspace, because we think it's top software. It hasn't gone wrong at all. Um, and it, it works it just exactly what it says. The management team at Sky for backing us as a team. And uh, there's lots of negativity um, uh, from enterprise vendors saying, you don't want to use OpenStack, use our product. Uh, the management team stuck with us. And the OpenStack team at Sky, so it isn't big. It's Alan, Colin, Martin, and Ross. And finally, Canonical for giving us some really good support over the past couple of years. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Matt. Yes. Let's go ahead and shake hands. One Cheers, more. Mark. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Matt. That was, that was awesome. Um, I don't know if you all caught that, but uh, of all the amazing things he said, the one that jumped out at me is the CEO of his company looks at a dashboard every single day that's powered by OpenStack. That's pretty damn cool.